Maxine Kovtum is the man who was passed over for a spot on the Russian Olympic team in favor of legendary skater Yevgeny Plushenko. The 19-year-old turned around, went to Worlds months later, and uh, finished in very impressive fourth place. But here in China, he has struggled. 16th after the short. The 19-year-old cannot finish on the podium, but he wants to leave these worlds on a high. In the last few years of skating, the men's event has been very challenging with so many great jumpers. He is one of them. Wow. Quad Sal. Great power. And he's kind of lucky that his jumps are that big and strong because the first half of his program, it is all about getting the jumps done. Mm. Your first three jumping passes all contain quads. Yeah. That's a lot of pressure right there. It also means giving up the program. Like, it, this is a free skate session. There it is again. The sow is firing with the triple toe afterwards. I'm excited. Someone tell them that was amazing. <laughs> It's a huge connection to his music, but you can't help but wonder all the times he's been passed over in favor of Plushenko, what that's done to his confidence over the years. And, you know, he always looks to me worried when he skates. It's, it's, it's never, there's never that sense of enjoyment from Maxim. And yet sometimes he does some very enjoyable things, like those quads. No doubting his jumping ability. Speaking of which, triple axle. Half loop, triple sal. The ability of this generation of skaters to do a triple from no speed, uh, we, like my generation just wouldn't have tried it. I think that speaks to the amount of off-ice training that the skaters do now. I think that's increased so much in the last 10 years in order to get the technical job done. No technical job done there. Simple triple sow, and he just landed two quad sows. He just doubled the triple sow count. Tired or mental air? Take your pick. This has been an incredible season for Maxime. He uh, won both of his Grand Prix events, finished fourth at the Grand Prix final. Most recently was a silver medalist at Europeans.
Well, that's a, a victory for Maxime after a, a tough short, which saw him sitting in 16th place. Well, way to come back after the short, eh? Good for him. Championship figure skating on CBC is back after this. There are those fans throwing those huge bears out in the ice. Those can be dangerous. Yeah, they're safer than real bears. <laughs> okay, good point. Good point. Well, you know, no Russian man has won the world title since Yevgeny Plashenko did it. That was more than a decade ago. Maxine Kovtun won't do it this year, but he's got the talent to maybe do it in the future. Well, this was a great recovery from what was really a, you know, dreadful short program. He was 16th in the short. But all the coaches will tell you, you know, you never want to sit in the kiss and cry and have the other than that conversation. When they make mistakes and you have to go, well, other than that, and that's what he'll be thinking now. Other yeah, than nice my crappy sound, short program. <laughs> but he's interested. He's a very good jumper. He holds his arms so close to his chest so high. Usually, you know, the best jumpers hold them a little bit lower. He kind of defies a lot of rules. And he's capable of scores of close to 158 points. And he gets uh, one better than that here in Shanghai. So a great finish to what was a tough start for Maxime Comptoon at these World Championships.